Yo guys, I hope you're good. I am joined today by Martha Gill, who is an enduro racer, mountain biker, all-round all shredder. But we've been speaking over the last sort of week and I'm going to try and teach her a trial trip today. What do you reckon? Yeah, looking <laughs> forward to it. We'll see how it goes. So we've been speaking over the last couple of days and we've been thinking maybe a gap jump which we'll show you shortly is basically doing a back hop but moving forward it's not necessarily like a mountain bike trick but i suppose it's a trick that you could end up using in the trails yeah to get yourself out of trouble <laughs> so it might not be such a bad thing to add to your arsenal um yeah we'll get started do you want me to show you what it is yeah first take it away it like this pressure <laughs> that back hop you're talking about, kind of like coordinating, pedaling, and letting go on your back brake all at once to basically give yourself like that, like forward trajectory. You look nervous. Two, two in the bag. So basically, to turn. Turn your back up into a gap jump, basically coordinating a few things. Okay. <laughs> so when you're on your back wheel, you're going to have to let go of your back brakes slightly. Well, it's like kind of keeping pressure on your pedals to keep your front wheel up. And then for that split second that you let go of your back brake, you basically kick and do the hop at the same time. And that's what turns like the back hop into a forward movement. So you basically just go like that try and do one so it gives you like that feel of like the pedaling letting it roll a bit oh, okay. and then pulling your back brake again oh, okay. <laughs> that's like that's, that's really good <laughs> and then like if you try if you try the next one basically when you pull your back brake try and quickly cock your pedal back and do another one if you know what I mean Woo! Yeah. <laughs> should probably uh Add that Martha's clipped into her pedals, it's definitely the. I think it shouldn't make it too much harder. Yeah. Ooh. So oh, maybe okay. try and get up to like three of those, and then I think you'd be at a good stage to try and a add the hop. <laughs> this is gonna be the this is gonna be like the quickest video ever, like. Yeah, that's way better. Ah. She's away. <laughs> that was like six. <laughs> I was literally thinking if you could do like one gap jump by the end of the sort of session, that'd be good going. But I'm, I think you I'm gonna be hopping over these little wooden <laughs> things. Jobs. You've been the drop and roll show before, not like. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's insane. I reckon you're ready, ready for the hop. It's almost like as you kick, you're kind of like ramping the hop up, and then as you like do the kick, you just do the hop, and then get the back brake. But you've got like, the timing of your break, like, yeah. it's fun. Doing that first will definitely help with like the timing of it, so... Oh. Way! <laughs> Done. May as well just go home then. Goodbye, thanks for watching guys. This is probably really misleading to people watching it, of how quick. <laughs> they should probably add that if someone's watching this and trying to learn one, not to be too disheartened by the fact that they're not picking it up as fast as you are. Yeah. Yeah, just try and just try and like soak it in, balance, and then cock back, ready for the next one. Yeah, yeah and just have your weight back a wee bit. Yeah. Just kind of getting just your like resetting after each one, getting your weight back a little bit. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get a better one. I feel like when I just watched you then and I could see your body position, then yeah. I like corrected my own. And I felt like the last. Yeah, I think even done, even though you only like doing two each time you're still like making progress with yeah. like the body position yeah. and stuff yeah <laughs> uh, I, I was like just holding on to that one you know when you do a manual you know you're losing it but you're still like yeah i must admit after like trying them after my ride yesterday i was like no chance no chance i'm gonna do this yeah if i stopped for too long i like start to think too much about yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. I need to like stop and then do it straight away. Uh, it's like a weird one. It's like there's almost like so much going on with it. 
Yeah. It's almost easier to kind of let your body just like kind of figure it out. Yeah. Get the muscle memory for it. Oh, why did I just carry it on? <laughs> I was dialed that one. I just started doing it and then in my head I'm like, oh god, I'm doing it, oh no. <laughs> Make sure you have that weight right back from that first one. And then the same with the next one. You're resetting every time. Yes, it was that five. I'm saying that's five. <laughs> like, when you like reset, that was marvelous. I'm just like, like sitting down as much as I could yeah. after each one. Five grab jumps. I'm impressed. Like got the technique down. I'll definitely keep on practicing yeah. it. Yeah, like you're probably closer than you think to like unlocking like unlimited. Like I reckon, if you were to say do like another hour of practice, you would literally yeah, be I doing do. like yeah. 15, 20. <laughs> so that was height a gap jump. Well done for uh, five gap jumps. That's pretty impressive to learn in like what was it like 45 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably seen longer to you. <laughs> um, if you guys are wanting to learn your technique yourself and you're having any trouble or any questions, please comment below and I will be happy to help you guys and we'll catch you guys next time.